David Brewster here with another three for all. This is three Ian Thornley licks from 2013. And Ian Thornley is the vocalist guitarist from the band Big Wreck. And they've been around since the late 90s. And Ian went to Berkeley and Big Wreck, you know, was formed uh, with Berkeley, you know, students. And then eventually uh, their debut album in Loving Memory of, I think that came out in 97. You know, that had the songs, uh, The Oaf, That Song, and uh, Blown Wide Open. And that was kind of a minor hit. You know, it had some radio play and some attention. They followed that with another album and then they broke up in 2002 and Ian released a couple solo albums. I think they were called Thornley, you know, like his solo project and then Big Wreck reformed and they've had a number of, you know, albums, Albatross and Ghosts and, uh, you know, some other releases since then. But he's a very tasteful and melodic and uh, just amazing guitar player. You know, if you really listen, you know, to his guitar playing, He's doing all sorts of really cool, you know, chords and arpeggios and melodic phrasing, and he can shred, too. And I know I kind of forgot about him for a little while. And then he started posting, like, on Instagram and Facebook, you know, he was posting these clip videos, like, about 2014, 2015. And it was just, you know, his hands and his guitar. His head was kind of chopped off, you know, most of the clips. But he was just shredding, you know, and playing all these crazy licks. And there was like Steve Morris and Paul Gilbert and just all this crazy stuff. And when I saw those clips, it reminded me and I thought, oh, yeah, you know, that uh, the guy from Big Wreck is a monster, you know, and that guy is Ian Thornley. <laughs> The licks in this video uh, come from a live, you know, kind of bootleg, and I'm not sure why it was in black and white. Um, I did notice, like, the stage lighting was very bright, so maybe the person that filmed it, you know, changed it to black and white so you could actually see it, because I'm guessing, you know, if it was in color, the lights, you know, behind the band was probably rather blinding. It's still a little blinding, you know, when you see it in black and white, but it's probably a little bit easier to watch, um, you know, with that filter on there. I'm not really positive. Maybe they just like black and white footage. I don't know. But these licks are really cool. There's some great ideas, you know, kind of hiding in here. And um, they just kind of extended, I think it was the song Come Again, I think it's called. But they just extended and they had this kind of loose jam. And then Ian just slowly starts to do a little bit more. And then he just goes off and he plays, you know, this wicked solo. The first lick takes place during this little extended jam, you know, during Come Again, and I believe the chord progressions, you know, B minor to D to G. So that's kind of the chord vamp, you know, behind the solo. And Ian starts it, he's doing uh, some hybrid picking, so he's a very expressive and quirky uh, guitarist. He throws in all these, you know, interesting ideas all the time. But he starts off and he's just kind of playing with this, uh, you know, G triad, like this. There's a little rake bend. <laughs> And it's really just kind of a feel thing, you know, it's very expressive and melodic. And I just like the note selection, you know, the way it's all laid out. But when Ian plays it, it looks and sounds like this. The next lick is this busy, hybrid-picked, sequenced idea, and I've definitely, you know, caught Ian playing ideas like this, but I've also heard people like, you know, Guthrie Govan, and there's a ton of players that do some of this kind of sneaky, you know, hybrid-picked uh, phrasing. And I actually wrote a whole lesson for Guitar Player Magazine, it was called Finger Licking Good, you know, a couple years ago, and that was talking about this, you know, technique. And uh, the lick looks like this. <laughs> So it's really busy and it's kind of a finger twister because you're, you know, cycling and moving through a lot of the same notes, but you're using maybe a different finger or a slide and it's tricky. So let's go through it kind of slow. Cool lick, 
thick and I like the way it's phrased and it's definitely a challenge too. The next lick is this really cool kind of mix and match uh, idea and he's coming down an arpeggio or kind of a partial you know pentatonic scale and then he races up the fretboard with a scale run almost like a you know something you hear from like you know Neil Sean or Paul Gilbert or somebody like that and then it ends with a bend um, but it's a really cool lick <laughs> So let's break that down and kind of slow it down a little bit too. So uh, it starts and you're kind of thinking of, you know, like B minor, B minor pentatonic, you know, somewhere around there. So it's kind of a different, uh, you know, different way of coming down and then you're also, you know, kind of shifting into a higher position there too. And I really like this too, it's just kind of, you know, just melodic phrase. first pattern and then shifts and then begins you know another phrase and that's one thing about Ian's playing that you can definitely learn you know it's kind of connecting phrases and connecting ideas together in a real musical way and then right there he basically starts uh, linking octaves and he's kind of coming up you know B natural minor or B aeolian <laughs> He's kind of doing this half and half, you know, legato and picking too, which I'm a big fan of that. So he stops there on that F sharp. And he kind of ends it, you know, bending up to that E note there too. Um, so one more time. Here's a bonus lick from this solo or live footage, you know, of Ian. And this is really cool. This is near the end of the solo. And he's basically doing a bending phrase, but he's also outlining, you know, arpeggios. So, you know, in the middle of this little phrase, he's kind of outlining, you know, B minor, D major, and G major, which I believe is the chord progression from the song, or one of the progressions, you know, from the song. You know, B minor, D, and G. So it's really interesting to hear, you know, that progression matched with these uh, bends. You know, really cool, because there he's bending A up to a B, you know, a whole step. And then coming down B minor right there. And then does the bend again, and then comes down D major, and then does the bend again and comes down G. really cool and I love the fact that it's based around bending too where you're sneaking this arpeggio you know in the mix really cool all right that's gonna wrap this look at three licks from Ian Thornley and part of the reason I put this together is he is kind of a overlooked or obscure you know guitar hero and I think he's a great player great musician a phenomenal vocalist too he sings his butt off and if you haven't really heard him or uh, you know the band Big Wreck I highly recommend you know his music he's a great player definitely somebody you know exciting to kind of follow on social media and kind of notice like when he posts something it's like man what's Ian doing today you know it's like oh my gosh a uh, great player so leave some feedback and some comments please subscribe to late night lessons and I'll be back before you know it with more content and material thank you